Hi, this is Ted Smith from Pikes Peak Paragliding, and I'm here today with my little assistant to show you and talk about the Microlight Reserve from MCC Aviation. This is their ultra lightweight reserve parachute, uh, and this particular one is a large, and but we're going to be covering all of the features that are common to this range of uh, reserve chute. Okay. So, like I said before, this is a large. This is how they arrive. They come in this bag. And they're already in the diaper bag, the color coded. The blue uh, outer diaper bag signifies that it's large. The large one, just for reference, this is, this is large and it uh, weighs 1.3 kilos. And it is rated up to 115 kilos for an all up weight. Now, one of the neat features about the reserves is that um, when they arrive, this is how they come, and they already have ultra lightweight risers integrated right into the construction of the reserve. So there's no need to have a um, quick link mallion here for the attachment of the, of the bridle to the reserve itself. So this saves both on weight and it makes uh, the reserve stronger. Uh, one less thing to break. Uh, one less weak link to have uh, there. Now the other nice thing about this with the risers is they give you these nice ultralight risers made out of Dyneema. Uh, people who are familiar with rock climbing, this is the same material that is used to make uh, quick links. Uh, and then the other thing that they've done is, is included are mallions for attaching the uh, reserve chute directly to the harness. And then there's a little o-ring here to keep this from sliding around. That makes it really, really, really um, easy and convenient for installing your reserve chute uh, onto your harness. Now the other thing about these reserves that you can't see is that MCC has designed them, you can see a little bit of the fabric here, half of the, half of the cap on these is red for easy spotting on the ground or else if you land in snow. The other half of the cap is bright white which makes it easy to find someone if they've landed in the forest. So it's a very highly visible reserve chute for in case you land out somewhere under reserve where you're going to be difficult to find, this will be an incredibly easy beacon to see from the air for any sort of search and rescue party that you may need to come and get you. So the next thing we're going to do is I am actually going to install this parachute into an MCC vice versa reversible backpack harness. So give me just a second to get that all set up and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with my harness. This is the brand new vice versa reversible rucksack harness from MCC Aviation. You see here, I'm going to do my own uh, video on this just for this, but I'll show you some quick features here. You can see the badging vice versa on the other side on the pocket. Very tastefully done, MCC Aviation. One of the coolest things about this harness is the new buckles that they're using. These are uh, parachute buckles that are very lightweight and totally jam free. Uh, sometimes the other buckles in snowy and icy conditions will get snow in them and they'll jam. These buckles are self cleaning. There's no way that they can ever become jammed with snow and they're very easy to get out of with just the push of a button. Super easy. Do them on the leg straps as well. Really lightweight, really reliable perfect types of buckles you want for a mountain style um, harness where you might be running into snowy, icy, or even sandy conditions that would jam other buckles. This, this uh, harness itself, just to give you an idea about weight, this is 3.95 kilos. This is the large size. And as I said before, the reserve is 1.3 kilos for the large. That gets me you know, an overall package of about 
two nine kilos or something like that for my uh, harness and reserve, which is just over ten pounds. Uh, for everyone who speaks English who doesn't know what a kilogram weighs, so let's get this guy installed in the harness. First things first, I have my reserve handle. I'm gonna attach it. here onto one of the eye, eyelets of the um, of the reserve like that piece of cake and the other thing I like to do right away is I want my risers to be nice and organized because I don't like to have twists in them all the way to the end, like that. Perfect. Now, on this harness, on the shoulder straps, continuous with the shoulder straps, so even as seams pop out, you still have all the full strength, are sewn loops to attach the mallions to. So, I'm going to attach my first mallion. Second mallion. Open it up. Good. Now, just going to lay these flat in the channel here. Velcro that across. This little guy tucks down in here. Velcro's on the back. Now on this harness, the um, there's a Velcro channel. For the risers to uh, sit down in, so I'm going to lay those down in there, nice, nice and neat, very carefully. Velcro that back up as I go, working my way down. Just about ready to put the reserve in. Voila. Set my pole handle right there. Now These harnesses all come with some extra little tools for installing your reserve chute. Specifically, these little um, cords. And these little guys they go here on the top flap of your do these little elastic eyelets here. Uh, one is color coded black and white. And you see on the reserve handle, you have white and you have black. That's the color coding. 
Now we have our flaps for our reserve and these are made out of neoprene so they stretch so they actually that's what allows the reserve container to naturally size itself to the size of the um, reserve chute that you put in there. If it's smaller the elasticity of it compresses down and it's snugger and if it's bigger and it sticks out a little bit the elasticity of it allows for you to have a larger chute in that space. So here we go, we're going to thread that through there. Now this one is underneath. This one goes first. One. And this one goes second. Like this. Being careful to just kind of tuck things in. Help. Okay, so we have our we have our straps that are running through the eyelets here, and now we're ready to close her up all the way. This last flap. We run it through here. And we're going to pull the reserve it's in here. Like that. One. The white one goes with the white one, and the black one goes with the black one. And then you need to flip, flip the strap underneath. So when you pull it out, the friction doesn't burn through your elastic here on both sides. Now we have these little O-rings that we flip over the end. Those help uh, keep your handle from accidentally uh, deploying the reserve when you don't want it to. One, two, and those get tucked under this nice neoprene. And the whole handle itself gets tucked into this neoprene pocket as well. The tension of which also helps hold it. And then this last piece Velcros down over it. It's all neatly snug and secured. You want to just tuck all the loose little loose ends in to make sure that uh, holds the dirt out. That's it. All put together. Now we've got our just over 10 pounds uh, reserve harness combination. It's that easy. So. That has been a brief demonstration and overview of the MCC Aviation's SOS Micro Light Reserve Chute. They are the lightest certified um, reserves on the market today. It's a three way tie actually uh, between the Sky, the MCC Aviation, and the Super Ultralight Reserves, the Extra Light Reserves from Super. Those are those are the three lightest reserves on the market. They are all designed by Alexander Poe, the owner and chief designer of MCC Aviation. So there you go, get the real deal. MCC SOS Micro Light Reserve. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Have safe safe flights. This has been another presentation from Pikes Peak Paragliding.